I will now further explain why, after giving the matter in-depth consideration, the government takes the view that the new District Council functional constituency election method for the additional five seats, here below known as the new DCFC election method, and that is the so-called adjusted method mentioned by the Chief Executive just now, is consistent with the basic law and the decision of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress in 2007. According to the MPCSC decision in 2007, for the 2012 Legislative Council elections, the half and half ratio between members returned by functional constituencies and members returned by geographical constituencies through direct elections shall remain unchanged. However, subject to this and other conditions, appropriate amendments conforming to the principle of gradual and orderly progress may be made to the specific method for forming the fifth term Legislative Council of the Hong Kong SAR in the year 2012 in accordance with the provisions of Article 68 and Article 3 of Annex 2 of the Basic Law. The MPCSC decision of 2007 did not prescribe any method as to how the functional constituency seats should be returned. Therefore, the details relating to the specific methods for returning functional constituencies are left to the local legislation in accordance with Article 68 and Annex 2 of the Basic Law. All along and according to Annex 2 of the Basic Law, the delimitation of functional sectors, their seat allocation and election methods are matters which can be specified by an electoral law introduced by the government of the Hong Kong SAR and passed by the Legislative Council. The Chief Executive has just outlined the new DCFC election method. I would like to emphasize what the government considers to be some salient features. First, candidates must themselves be elected District Council members. Second, candidates must be nominated by elected District Council members. Third, Candidates will be elected through one person, one vote by the registered electors in Hong Kong, less those electors who currently have the right to vote in other functional constituencies. In other words, the electorate base will be about 3.2 million, being the total of 3.43 million registered electors, less 230,000 electors for the other functional constituencies. Firstly, I would like to point out the new DCFC election is not direct election. The candidates are limited to elected district council members, nominated by elected district council members. Not any of the Chinese nationals among the 3.43 registered electors in the geographical constituency electoral registers. Secondly, the new DCFC election is not geographical constituency direct elections. The new DCFC members are not returned by geographical constituencies through direct elections. This is because not all the 3.43 registered electors in the geographical, geographical constituency electoral registers are entitled to vote. But the right to vote is confined to the registered electors other than those already entitled to vote in the other functional constituencies. District Council has always been a functional constituency for the purpose of the Legislative Council election. For the existing Legislative Council, one out of the 30 uh, functional constituency seats comes from the District Council. District Council is a functional constituency under Section 21ZB of the Legislative Council Ordinance, CAP 542. The District Council has the functions of giving advice to the government regarding district administration and promoting district development. A specific function can readily be identified, which is different from the case of members returned by geographical constituency direct elections. The expansion of the electorate base for the District Council uh, functional constituency members does not alter the functional nature of the District Council. Each of the five electrical members returned through the new DCFC election method is a legislative council member returned by a FC, functional constituency. He or she will still be the representative of the district council in electrical. Further, if one were to further analyze the new DCFC election method by reference to the three aspects of candidature, nomination, and electorate base, 
that it becomes clear, even clearer that the new DCFC election remains a functional constituency election as opposed to geographical constituency direct election. First of all, on candidature, unlike geographical constituency direct elections, where any of the Chinese nationals among the registered electors can be nominated as a candidate, the new DCFC candidates must be an elected member of the district council. Secondly, nomination. Unlike geographical constituency direct elections where any registered elector can be a subscriber to a nomination for a candidate, in the new DCFC election, only elected district council members can be a subscriber to a nomination for a new DCFC candidate. Thirdly, electric base. Unlike the geographical constituency direct elections, where all registered electors with the geographical constituency electoral registers can vote, in a new DCFC election, only those registered electors who do not have the right to vote in the other functional constituencies can vote. The necessary changes to implement a new DCFC election are matters relating to the delimitation of functional sectors, their seat allocation and election methods, which can be achieved by way of lo local legislation. Further, the new DCFC election is consistent with the principle of gradual and orderly progress. The electoral system is not static. We are moving towards the ultimate aim of universal suffrage. Plainly, the enlargement of the electric base is an important facet of this progress. The new DCFC election is consistent with the basic law and the 2007 NPCSC decision. It provides a useful means to effect gradual and orderly progress towards universal suffrage. I appeal to all electrical members to support it and to give Hong Kong the opportunity to move forward on constitutional development. Thank you. Thank you.